Hello and welcome to verse 10. We really are getting there. It's the uh, 10th video in the series and it's day 10 and it's Pasuk 10. So we're talking about Bereshit, we're talking about Genesis. Let's read the Hebrew first. Vaikra Elohim leyabasha eretz v'lemikveh hamayim kara yamim vayar Elohim kitov Let's just read the English as well. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called the seas. And God saw that it was good. So let's go into the Hebrew a bit slower and see what words we have. Vikra Elohim. We've had this many times before. Hopefully you know that it is. And God called. Layabasha Eretz. The dry land. Or the dry land or the dry earth yavesh we've had this before means dry eretz in modern hebrew means land we've had that before as well like eretz israel the translation we have here is the gathering together of the waters we use the word mikvah nowadays uh, when someone becomes jewish from not being jewish they dip in a mikvah uh, every month when a woman uh, wants to uh, become uh, pure or ritually clean or a man wants to become ritually clean they dip in the mikvah it's a body of water literally the word mikvah means collection um, so we could use the word collection here but it, it's an interesting word to use so ula mikvah hamayim and the gathering together of the waters or the collection of the waters kara yamim now the english we have here says called he sees it's really and it calls he called it waters uh but that's fine as well the yar elohim and god saw ki tov that it was good tov means good yele tov is good boy Ki can mean because or kind of that. So, you know, there's a lot of modern Hebrew here, which is derived from the biblical Hebrew. And you'll see that again and again and again. And it's, you know, it's very important to note as well. The other thing I'll just point out, and I'm kind of repeating myself, but the point is that it does seem to repeat itself a lot. We've seen almost all of these words before. Vayikra, Elohim, we've seen. Yabasha, we've seen. Eretz, we've seen. Hamayim, we've seen. Kara, we've seen. Yamim, uh, we've seen. Yom, uh, means waters here, but Yom is day. Vayar Elohim, Kitov, we've had exactly that whole phrase before. So almost every single word we've had here, we've had before. And it's very important to notice because firstly, it's going to help you to remember words that they are being repeated. And, uh, you know, just idea just came to my head that perhaps the Torah is made easier to learn in this way, because when we're learning it, we keep on repeating these words in similar ways and similar fashions. Anyway, my mission for you today, if it's OK, is do you have a Facebook account? If so, can you share this video? Uh, on your Facebook wall, on a group you're in, like it. Uh, you'll find you know many options to do this on the YouTube page itself or wherever you are watching this video. So that would really, really be appreciated. And it just means that more people will be able to learn the Bible in its originally original Hebrew. So thank you very much. Lehitra Alt, Shalom, and goodbye from day 10.